Let me just say that I love it when I find a new show that I'm super passionate about and just love so much, and that new show is The Family. But I have to give credit to a lot of you guys out there who tweeted me and commented on my videos that I needed to catch this show. Therefore, that is why I am late and just now starting to do videos on this show when it's aired now five episodes of season one. So I do apologize for the ones that I missed as far as doing videos, but I binge watched it. I watched it on the ABC app, so if you're behind, you can get on there and watch it for free if you're in the US and I'm so in love with it. I think it's so genius and I just think it has so much promise for the future. So I think every episode is really good. Um, I think that there are pretty big reveals in every episode and new twists and turns and that makes me excited because I'm someone who likes to be, you know, I like to, there to be information in every episode. I don't like a lot of filler. I mean, who does? And I don't like shows that just drag on and on and on and make you wait for a finale for something good to happen. So this is not one of those shows. So that makes me so happy. So in this episode, we learn that Hank has been someone who's been bullied his entire life. We see him as a child who has been bullied by other school kids. What I found interesting in the scene was I was uh, following Andrew McCarthy, who I guess was a pretty big star in the 80s. And he said that his actual son was playing the role of Hank as a young kid so I thought that was pretty cool. Hank is a very shady guy and I definitely think we don't know everything about him yet or how he's connected to the real Adam but there's way more to him just you know than the fact that he was someone accused of falsely accused of kidnapping a kid. There's something else going on there and I mean this guy is too big of a star to not have a huge role in this show. So that is something that I don't think we can predict yet, but I think it will unfold as the show unfolds. So, um, you know, the episode before we saw that someone had assaulted Hank, and may maybe some of you thought it was John, who was Adam's dad, but that just seemed really too easy to me. But of course, Hank is in the hospital telling the detective that yes, John Warren assaulted him and, you know, demolished part of his house, but... We'll see if that's the case a little bit later in the episode. So Adam gets some interesting mail in this episode. He first gets a postcard from Cape Canaveral, Florida, which, fun fact, I was actually just there last week. But anyway, it's from his kidnapper. Now, one of the things this show does that I think is really interesting is they give us some pretty big information right up front. We already know that a kidnapper, at least one of them, maybe there's more than one, is that really creepy dark-haired guy that has the pregnant wife. I think this guy does a great job of playing a villain. But we don't really know everything about him or what the entire story is, but um, we do know he's shady and we know he's the one sending the postcards. So um, apparently it's some kind of game that he used to play with the guy who says he's Adam back when he was being held captive and he promised to take him to all these different places. So he's kind of on a road trip and he's sending postcards from various places. So um, I feel really bad for his wife because she seems like a genuinely nice person, but the guy does a really good job of playing like the perfect awesome husband and the very creepy kidnapper. So John Warren ends up being arrested for that assault on Hank. Um, what I'm wondering is about this kidnapper. Does this guy have other kids somewhere? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious he is a professional at kidnapping kids, and we all know that he's making a place in that shed by his house for a new kid. But could he have other kids in other places? I would love to hear your opinion on that, because we know he had the Adam kid, um, at a place like way out in the country, so maybe he has other locations going to be a lot easier for him to have a kid right by him but it will be very interesting to see how it plays out considering his wife is going to be right there she could very easily find this person herself so I will just go ahead and say that the person who we know is Adam um, is kind of to me a villain in this show and I wonder what his motive is and why he is pretending to be someone he isn't I'm going to go ahead and give you the spoiler here. At the end of this episode, we do find out this is not actually Adam. So I feel like he is working with the kidnapper, working with someone, being paid to do this. He has to have some sort of ulterior motive because if he was actually a kidnapped kid, why wouldn't he want to go back to his real family? Um, what is his motive here with this family? He conveniently disabled the security alarm when his dad had the fight with Hank. So it made the dad look more guilty. So he definitely has something going on with Hank. I don't know if it's sympathy or what, but he wants to help him out. So what are your thoughts about that? Um, 
I thought the cake scene with Hank was just genius. I loved it so much. I just love the fact to watch someone order a huge cake and want to eat it right there in the bakery and dig in right in the middle. I think all of us would love to do that sometime just for the fact that you know you're not supposed to do that. So I thought that was really cool. Of course, he wanted the cake to say, I win, because he definitely thought he had tricked everyone to thinking that John actually assaulted him. So, but mm, not so fast. Um... So you know what, John's daughter, I think Willa is her name, she kind of creeps me out. To be honest, she's one character on this show who I don't like at all, but I definitely think she has some big secrets and they could probably, or most likely are related to Adam. I don't know what she's done, but we see her in little uh, flashbacks and confessionals. We, she's going to do something next week. Um, she's also very, very close with her dad, and we learn through this episode and other episodes that she's covered for him through various times in his life, um, when he was drunk and when he was texting other women and who knows what else. And she even made the statement, like, basically, she would cover up for him if he had, like, killed someone, you know. So some of you might think that he killed the real Adam. Now, so far, I'm not getting killer vibes from this guy, but they said it in the show, and it's usually true, when a child goes missing or is killed in a family many, many, many times, it is a family member who is involved. So we had our very first live chat um, this week about the family and some of the people in the chat had such great ideas thinking that you know maybe um, Adam was a product of an affair maybe he was adopted so he, ha he could have real family members out there involved in whatever happened to him I don't know we definitely don't have all the pieces yet but it's definitely not what it looks like on the surface so I don't know what was going on when Adam and his brother went out on that joy ride, but Adam was definitely like trying to kill them or kill himself or something. You know, he closed his eyes and he accelerated. I don't know. This kid cannot be trusted. I love the fact that the guy playing the older brother was one of the main stars on Friday Night Lights. That was a show I used to love so much until it kind of went downhill and because of that got canceled. But I loved him um, and his character on Friday Night Lights. His character is not quite as endearing on this show, but I still really like the actor. So I love the way that the detective figured out that Hank was lying about the whole assault thing. When she went to visit him, she noticed that like the table that John supposedly destroyed, you know, was a mess. But there was that little picture of like a mother and her son that was in perfect shape. And, you know, Hank was like, well, it's really sturdy. So she purposely knocks it to the ground and it breaks in a million pieces. So, you know, obviously he was lying and John gets those charges dropped against him because, of course, Hank made it all up. So uh, the reporter, I think her role in this show is basically just to be out for herself and her career. She's trying to break this huge story that Adam is not who he says he is, um, which would be huge for her because his mom is someone who's kind of famous locally. Um, so I think she obviously used the brother and now she's using the sister by kissing her in the bar because she knows she has feelings for her. So I just think... Um, I really don't think she's involved any more than that. Like, I don't think she's working with a kidnapper or anything, but I think she's someone who's very opportunistic and is working to advance her career in any way she can. But by doing that, she's getting information for us, and I think that is good. Um, what's interesting is in the next episode, they're going to use Adam as bait because the detective thinks that's a great idea to reel in the kidnapper, and it looks like we might get somewhere with it. It's probably not going to get this guy in jail, but it looks really interesting in the preview. And of course, like I said earlier, the reporter had her own DNA test done, um, and she finds out that the kid saying, who says he's Adam is not the real Adam. So there's just so many different ways that this can go here, and I would love to hear your theories because you know it's going to be some pretty crazy stuff that's actually the truth, and it's definitely not what it looks like from the surface, and probably some of these people in the family are very shady characters, and we don't know everything about them. Um, I'm just really excited to see how this all pans out. If you are new to this channel, or if you just kind of happen across this video because you like this show, please subscribe. I will be covering the rest of this season and hopefully more seasons of The Family. I also cover all kinds of other mystery shows. Maybe you watch some of those. If not, I'll give you some ideas of some good ones because I think a lot of the shows or all of the shows that I watch are very, very, very good. So you might too. Um, but thank you so much for being a part of the Kelly TV community. And the information for the live shows for The Family is down below. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.